up, Eagles? My name is Diana. My name is Antonio. Coming to you with our second episode of Eagle TV. For this week's announcements, we're going to keep it short and sweet. Our PSATs are October 12th. 9th and 11th graders can make the payment of $18 on My Payment Plus to take the PSATs. The one and only Alabama State University came to South Cobb and showed us what the Hornets are about. And in case you missed it, here's the recap. So today we're here with, you know, the Alabama State University mascots. Can you pose for us real quick, bro? Do a quick little pose for Eagle TV. Yeah. Hold on. Let me do one for the flip. Yeah. All right, that's all we needed for you today, bro. The show, man. The show. What advice would you give to the up-and-coming college people? So up and coming college people, get involved in any and everything. and met so many great people by being involved in so much. Don't just get in one organization and that be it. I am so involved in so many things and I'm so blessed by the opportunities each and every single organization has brought me. So get involved and get to know people. That's my biggest advice. Stay with it. Aaliyah Robinson, Miss Alabama State University. I love the students. I love Alabama State to its entirety. It's a family-oriented vibe, everything. I'm in love with my school. But what advice would you give to the up-and-coming? The up-and-coming future Hornets, I would definitely tell you to swarm as one. And when I say that, I mean create everlasting opportunities for yourself. Come in eager to learn, willing to help your class, and persevere through anything. But first, keep God in your life at all times. Man, listen, we have had a wonderful, awesome time here in South Cobb High School. These students have been absolutely awesome. We have awarded some scholarship money. Uh, we plan to award some more as this year goes uh, on as we get through our scholarship season. But listen, this has been just a wonderful experience. We appreciate the faculty and staff for letting us come. I'm Freddie Williams Jr. from Alabama State University, and you're watching Eagle TV. I hope you guys enjoyed our little recap. And now we have field announcements from our field team. Please listen to these reminders from South Cobb High School. I hope you enjoy the weekend with your family and friends. Attention students, you should have a decal to park on campus. If you do not, please go to the front office to get more information. Students should report to school every day no later than 8.20 a.m. for first block. Also, the building will not open for students until 7.45. Welcome to South Carolina High School. For safety purposes, make sure you enter the main office for a visitor slip. Yeah, yeah. Remember, South Carolina students, keep your clothes in the restroom clean at all times and treat the restroom with respect as if it were your home restroom. Come on. Hey, look, come on, come on, come in the restroom. You wash your hands here, you wash. I can try it out. Oh shoot, what's good? You know that all students need a CCS3 issue laptop? If you need a laptop, just opt in that parent view. Man, this school is so beautiful. Unfortunately, we have a lot of needs that we're unable to afford. That's why we have the South Cobb High School Foundation, where we can make donations to help fund our students' educational experience. All donations are being accepted online at South Cobb High School Foundation. Guys, please remember to keep the restrooms clean to ease up the work on our custodians. And speaking of custodians, one of our custodians, who is also a building engineer, is one of the longest employees here at South Cobb High School. And here with that interview, we have NIE. I've been here 23 years. I came in 1999. I've been in maintenance for 40 years. and have, have a long career with uh, Cobb County School System. <laughs> we still got the old building. I, I was wishing before I retired we get a new building, but we hadn't got one yet. We got a new ninth grade building. We got a new theater. 
but we haven't got a new gym. I'm waiting on the gym to get here before I can retire. Uh -huh. <laughs> I graduated from South Cobb High School in 1973. And I had a good principal, uh, TJ Hatcher, in 1973. And I got another good principal now. So, and I thank God for him. Are things very different from when you were in school? Uh, yes, because when, when I went to school here, we didn't have air conditioning. We didn't have, uh, we had tile floors, but we didn't have air conditioning. So we had to open the windows up every day. And then during the winter time, we had to fire the ball up to get heat. That's how long I've been at this school. Mm -hmm. 50 something years. It's been a great experience. We thank you, Mr. Dell, for all that you have done on a daily basis over the years that you have spent here. You are greatly appreciated. South Cup has a lot of hidden talent, and here on Eagle TV, we want to highlight that talent with our new segment called Rising Stars, hosted by Jasmine. What's up, y'all? It's Jasmine from Eagle TV. We're here with a new segment called Rising Stars, and we got our first star in here. So, what's your name? Yeah, it's I. All right, so we finna interview you, and then I want you to get on stage. I want you to rap, so we just. All right, bet. All right, let's do it. All right, the first question is, I want to know how long you've been rapping. Uh, I've been rapping for about eleven years. I've been rapping since I was six. Since you were six? Yeah. Like, what was your what was the first song that you made? Like, how it go? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> how it go? It was called. It was called Let Go. Let's go. And then basically my uncle, he was on the hood. So he was like, it's big, it's yeah. so, All right. So you've been rapping since you was 11 years. So like, is there a time, like, throughout that time, like you doubted yourself? Like, Most definitely, like, probably like when I first started, cause I ain't really like go to the studio like that. I taught myself how to record. So just learning how to do that. That's where most of the problems came from. But besides that, it was cool. Smooth. So like anytime that you feel like you down and you you like you at a brick wall, you can't write nothing, what's something that gets you out of that? Like what's something that gets you back in your emotions? Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, writers but like I get that song every day. Every day. Like I be in the studio every day and I could be making the hardest song and I just get stuck. Like I can't come up with nothing. So what I do is I I turn the computer off, I go do something like Go outside, mm -hmm. you feel me? Play the game, do something, and then try you to come, come to back me. to it. You feel me? And then okay. eventually something comes to me. You finna put you on the stage, you finna spit some, and then that's it. All right, bet. Let's do it. Bridges run, they say who you do it for, this for my mama, staying out the drum, trying to run me up some comments. Teacher said if I come late, gon' write me up, it ain't my problem. We play Brooke this week, so you know I'm trying to pop them, having motion like the ocean. Know we come with that commotion, yeah, it's big, five, seven, everybody better know this. With this music, I'ma go just like a ghost. I'm hearing voices in my ear telling me to stop, but I'ma keep going. Well, that's the end of our first episode of Rising Stars. Thank y'all for tuning in. If y'all like this, it's going to be a link in the description. Y'all can nominate who y'all want to come on here next and show they talent. But do you have anybody that you want to put on here specifically? Uh, all right, so this is a girl, mm -hmm. right? And her name is Elizabeth. And I know she can sing. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know if she's going to come over here and do it. I think she should. Right. You feel me? Well, right. Elizabeth, if you're watching this right now, click that link in the description. And that's all we have for episode two. Make sure you stay in tune. Make sure you follow us on our social media platform. So high, we'll catch you on the next one. And make sure y'all check out Troy University. We'll catch you.